In this question, uh, we have to find the resistance of a wire framed shape as a cube when measured between the points A 1 and 7, B between 1 and 2 and C between 1 and 3. This is a cube having 12 register uh, in their edges. Resistance of each edge of the frame is capital R. So this is the question we are going to solve. If two or more than two points be at the same potential in a circuit, we can join them into a single point. By connecting points at the same potential, such register automatically removed because there is no current through it. So here is a network or circuit of 12 register making a cube. Resistance is actually resistance of each identical edge or side each is equal to r we numbering the corner corners of cube for easy recognition here we have to find the equivalent resistance of the cube across the diagonal that is point between 1 and 7 so we have to find r17 r17 means equivalent resistance between point 1 and 7 let's connect 1 and 7 to the battery current i goes into the point 1 and same current I will come out from 7. This circuit is symmetrical across the diagonal hence current I at point 1 will equally divided into 3 branches from 1. So I by 3 current will goes into 3 branches. Similarly equal current I by 3 will comes from 3 branches toward the junction 7. Now V1 minus V2 equals I by 3 R that is V2 equal to V1 minus I by 3 R. Similarly V4 equal to V5 equal to V1 minus I by 3R that is V2 equal to V4 equal to V5. Similarly, the potential of uh, 8, 3, and 6 will be same. So, potential of V3 equal v6 and v8 these three points will be joined together to form a single point now this is point one three registers coming out from this point one one register then second register and then the third resistance and the other point other end of this uh, registers are two four and 5 but these three points have same potential so we can join them together and this single point will represent three of the points 2 4 and 5 similarly from other from the other end that is from point 7 three registers connected as shown here and the other ends of these three registers are 8, 3 and 6, 3, 6 and 8. And these points have same potential so again we can join them together to form a single point. And this point will represent the three points 3, 6 and 8. 3, 6 and 8, right. And there are uh, six rest other registers, and these are connected between these three point uh, two points. All the six registers, for example, <coughs> there is one register between point five and eight. So, point five is here. Uh, point five and point eight. Point five is here. 
and point eight is here sorry there is a six point noted on the diagram but it is actually five two four five right so there is three register in series uh, parallel and six register in parallel and three registers in parallel so their equivalent will be r by three and this register has equivalent r by 6 and this register has r by 3 and these three uh, three registers r by 3 r by 6 and r by 3 are in series so their equivalent will be obtained using uh, their uh, summation of this three register so equivalent relation between point 1 and 7 will be sum of r by 3 r by 6 plus r by 3 so r equivalent will be r by 3 plus r by 6 plus r by 3 and this equals to this equals to 5 r by 6 so this is equivalent resistance now we will calculate the equivalent resistance between age of cube here is the given cube of registers and these two points across which the equivalent resistance to be calculated. Let a battery be connected between these two points, send current I and receive the same current from the other point. First naming the points of the cube. Branch 1 to 5 and 1 to 4 are identical from symmetry, hence equal current will flow in it. Hence potential of point 4 and 5 will be the same and we will join them together. Similarly, branch 3 to 2 and 6 to 2 are identical, hence same current X will come through these branches potential of point 3 and 6 will be same we will join them together Now reconstruct the circuit again. There is a one register R between point 1 and 2. From point 1, two register start and they ends at point 4 and 5. But they are in same uh, at the same potential, we can join them together. So 4 and 5 point are joined together. Similarly from point 2, two register start and they ends at 3 and 6 but they are also at the same potential so we will join them together so 3 and 6 are joined here now again two register from 3 and 6 comes and then it's at point 7 so point 7 right and similarly from 4 and 5 two registers uh, goes and end at point 8 
so this is the point 8 and another register there is another register between point 7 and 8 is it shown here there is uh, two more in uh, register in parallel uh, at the from joining point of 4 and 5 and joining point of 3 and 6 so this is the whole circuit together and uh, there is uh, many register in parallel so we will simplify it So again this uh, circuit can be simplified as so I reconstruct the circuit again are the parallel resistors are equal to R by 2 so r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 uh, from 4 and 5 there is another r by 2 and between 8 and 7 there is a r and between 7 and 3 and 6 join r by 2 so there is 3 register in series r by 2 r and r by 2 so their equivalent will be as this is r between 1 and 2 this is r by 2 again this is r by 2 and this is r by 2 and upper three in series so there will be 2r this is 2r right 2r and r by 2 are in parallel so we can write it as right their equivalent is 2r by 5 again r by 2 2r by 5 and r by 2 are in series so their equivalent will be r and 7r by 5 are in parallel so their equivalent will be between point 1 and 2 7r by 12 we have to calculate the equivalent resistance between point 1 and 3 by symmetry from junction 1 path 1 and 2 and 1 to 4 are identical hence current same current will flow in them so the potential of junction 2 and 4 will be same we can join them together and whatever current goes from 1 to 5 will equally divided in 5 to 6 and 5 to 8 hence potential of 6 and 8 will be same so we will join them together So from point 1 there is 2 register ending at uh, 2 and 4 and since point 2 and 4 it has same potential and these two register in parallel again from this 2.2 register are in parallel and they are end at point 3 this is point 3 and there is uh, one register going up from point 1 and it goes to point 5 so other register R and this is point 5 right similarly from point 3 there is a register and it goes up to point 7 right from point 5 equal current goes of to 8 and point 6 
hence these two uh, the potential of 6 and it will be same so they will be joined together and there's two more register in parallel from 8 to 6 uh, 8 to 7 and then 6 to 7 so and there's two other register in parallel So this uh, group of register uh, circuit can be simplified as from point uh, 1 and between 2 and 4 there is R by 2 and again this is R by 2 this is point 3 this is R by 2. So this is so this is R by two R by two and this is R R by two. Now this is a balance with stone breeze easily seen from here. So 6 and 8, this is R by 2, this is 2 and 4, this is R by 2 from point 1 and this is 2, 4, R by 2, this is 3 R by 2, right, it, again this is a 3 R by 2. This is point one. So this is a uh, balance with stone breeze, and we can remove the diagonal resistor R by two. This is balanced with stone bridge, easily seen from the diagram, because the ratio of a uh, side resistor is same. So this R by 2 will be removed, right, we can remove it, no current will flow through it. So this can be simplified as R by 2, R by 2 in series and in upper branch there is 2 register each equal to R by 2 and this circuit is between point and Point 0.1 and 3, we have to calculate equation between these two point 0.1 and 3. 3R three by 2, 3R by 2 in the upper branch. So, the two resistance lower branch is in series and similarly the upper register in series. So, 3R in upper branch and this is R. These two register in parallel, so their equivalent will be as. So, equivalent resistance between point. 1 and 3, there is 2 register in parallel 3 R and R. So, they are between point 1 and 3. So, their equivalent will be 3 R by 4. This is the answer.